This way we'll cover the steps to create a WDS link on the AP8100 and on the AP8000 slash 800 access points. The AP8100, AP8000 and 800 support two type of WDS modes. The first is legacy mode and the second is 802.11 mode. The first mode we will cover is legacy mode. In this mode a WDS link can be established between two legacy access point devices supporting the IEEE 802.11 ABG modes without serving the 802.11 and authentication functionality while establishing the WDS link. This mode supports the web encryption type to secure the data. WPA and WPA2 are not supported under legacy mode. Using this mode can connect the AP8100 and the AP8000 slash 800 access points with the legacy products such as the AP700 and AP4000. The second WDS mode is the 802.11 mode. In this mode, a WDS link can be established between two BSS supporting the IEEE 802.11 NA slash NG mode, serving the association and authentication functionality. This mode supports the AES 128-bit encryption type to secure the data. In WDS 11N mode, each VAP can be configured in either WDS endpoint A, the VAP enabled in this mode will act as a WDS enabled AP device and performs the standard AP functionality, or WDS endpoint B mode, the VAP enabled in this mode will act as a WDS enabled station and perform the functions of a station slash client. A wireless distribution system, WDS, helps in establish a wireless link between two BSS and allows the clients of one BSS network to communicate with the clients on the other BSS network. WDS helps in extending the wireless LAN where it is difficult to use the wired Ethernet to relay the packets between the networks. To establish a WDS link, the following steps have to be configured on all WDS APs. Make sure that all APs that will participate in the WDS are set to the same frequency channel. The AP that's connected to the back end will be set to WDS and A. All other APs connected to the A radio will be set to WDS and B. After the WDS types have been established, to set up the WDS link, you're going to copy the BSS ID from the A radio and you're going to paste it to the PMAC address in the B radio. And you're going to do the same thing going backwards. You're going to copy the BSS ID from the B radio and you're going to paste it to the PMAC address in the A radio. This is going to establish your WDS link. It's going to keep on going from each radio that you're going to add to your WDS chain. It is required for all WDS links. All WDS APs must share the same security information. This is under the security profile name. Under security, wireless security, you'll be able to locate the authentication type. Then once click edit, you'll be able to select the type of encryption that you would like to use. For more Proxim Support TV videos and access to our various support offerings, please visit support.proxim.com. If technical support is required, please call 1-866-674-6626 or open a ticket with us.